Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we're going to take a look at where and uh, how it works in Windows 10 for the delivery optimization options, especially um, when we talk about the updates that are shared between your PC or maybe PCs on the internet and of course that causes uh, or you know makes you think about maybe uh, the fact that you could have a data cap on your internet access, which means, you know, you got a limit in amount of data. Once again, in Windows 10, that option, you go to the Settings app. And to your settings, you'll go into Update and Security. In the Update and Security, on the left side, you have Delivery Optimization. And here, you have the settings that look a little different, but it is roughly the same options that are going to be offered to you. You can, of course, allow downloads from other PCs, which is on or off, PCs on my local network, and PCs on my local network, and PCs on the internet. So, um, once again, to explain the differences, is if you have only one computer at home, turn this off, this means your PC only gets Windows updates from the Microsoft servers. That's it. Nothing more. If you turn it on, um, it would be good if you have multiple computers on the same home network. So, for example, here I've got several computers, which means it's a good idea to leave this on because it shares between my computers some of the downloads, some of the, in, the, um, the updates. Which means, once again, if I explain it and the way that I explained it in Windows 11, if you would have a download of a Windows update that is one gigabyte, what would happen is if you only if you turn this off and you got six PCs, you will have six gigabytes download. Each computer will download its one gigabyte file. But PCs on my local network on, like it is online, means that it might be much lower the amount of data you're downloading because as they're downloading and installing on your PC, they'll also be shared among the computers on your home network. So that will lower the amount of data needed to download from the internet as it'll be shared within your home network, which is a good thing. And of course, the last one, which is the one that I don't want, I don't think anybody should use that one, which is PCs on my local network and on the internet. Uh, that means that you're doing what we call peer-to-peer. -peer. If you guys remember downloading peer-to-peer -peer songs or whatever, it's a, the same kind of uh, idea is that this option exists because Microsoft can lower the load on its own servers by having all the PCs on the internet share the Windows updates also in a peer-to-peer -peer style networking. But I personally don't think that's a good idea. So... If you have multiple PCs at home on your home network, do turn it on and put PCs on my local network. That will be nice and lower the amount of data downloaded. And if you have only one PC at home and nothing more, then just switch this off to make sure that all you download from is the Microsoft server. One download and it's over. So this is for the delivery optimization option for the um, sharing of you know, Windows updates between computers on your network or not. And this is, you know, very important to look at, especially the one that uh, has PCs on the Internet. If you have a uh, limited data cap every month on your Internet connection. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.